Uh, good evening everyone from Botswana. I'm delighted to be with you this evening in this very important event of the official opening of SMUS Center. My name is Gabriel Faimau. I come from a small island in the eastern part of Indonesia called Timor. But I have been living in Botswana, one of the most beautiful countries in Southern Africa over the past 20 years. Currently, I am based in the Department of Sociology at the University of Botswana, and I teach research methodology courses at both undergrad and postgrad levels. I am also visiting associate professor at the Botswana International University of Science and Technology. My research focuses on digitization and digitalization in the context of Africa, new media and society, internet and religious practices. The official opening of SMUS Center this evening reminds me of one of the Chinua Achebe's proverbs on invisible power. The proverbs goes, When we see a little bird dancing in the middle of the pathway, we must know that its drama is in the nearby bush. SMUS can be metaphorically imagined as the, a little bird dancing in the middle of the pathway of a global scholarship. But as the dancing little bird is officially open today, what is probably important are the many dramas that have made the existence of the center possible, and most importantly, those who have paved the ways for this very important global network of scholars. In particular, I salute the initiators of the project Professor Nina Bauer and Professor Angela Million. Dr. Ignacio Castillo Ulloa has been very instrumental as well. And the participation of Professor Freya Fraser and Professor Gaura Fraheja has given a global face to the project. There are many key drummers that I can continue listing. When I had my research fellowship at the Technical University of Berlin last year, Professor Nina Bauer asked me in one of our conversations about scholarship in the Global South, particularly in Africa. As I gave my views, one idea clearly emerges from our conversation, namely the need for academic exchange, research collaboration, efforts to unpack our research methodologies, and understanding our research approaches from different perspectives, particularly perspectives from the Global South and Global North. Professor Bauer seems to have similar dreams of having a venue that allows global interaction of researchers from all corners of the world. SMUS project embodies not only a spirit of knowledge sharing, but also knowledge network and knowledge networking. By knowledge network and networking, I am referring to a global network that allows scholars from different spatial and disciplinary boundaries to interrogate our scholarly spaces, reflect on our critical questions, consider our methods of generating knowledge, and invent a shared knowledge that serves a systematic transformation of our lived realities and the development process of our own communities. This spirit is well captured in the principle of five E's of SMUS, education, experience, evaluation, exchange, and enhancement. As SMUS strives to provide an avenue for exchange of ideas between researchers, politicians, and practitioners. The global network of scholars in the SMUS project brings together research methods of the social sciences and research methods used in the disciplines of design, urban planning, and policy making. The implementation of this great idea is certainly not as easy as one might think. While the main obstacle of such an idea may lie in the traditional approach as well as the philosophical position and paradigmatic model 
that underpin methodological intervention of each discipline, bringing together our research methods means inventing integrative methods in responding to our research questions on the one hand, and reimagining a holistic approach in managing and sharing our knowledge. For example, in the context of Southern Africa, we have been engaged with questions concerning the colonization of knowledge and the colonization of research methodologies. In the context of the SMUS initiative, this decolonization project calls for a reconsideration of our local methods of interrogating our lived realities, our local approach to generating knowledge, and how such local methods contribute to the global knowledge sharing. In this context, our institutions play a crucial role in preparing the next generation of researchers, politicians, and practitioners. While many institutions have been occupied with the bureaucratic management of higher learning, our focus should be on transforming our institutions to research-oriented institutions. Having a research-oriented institution implies a commitment to the production and dissemination of knowledge. This commitment should translate to the mobilization of resources and provision of infrastructure that allows better researchers politicians, and practitioners to emerge. With these few words, let me congratulate all scholars in this network. Like yourself, it is an honor for me as well to be part of this global network. Let SMUS be a space where new inventions are developed. Congratulations once again, and as we like to say in Botswana, Pula meaning let the, let the rain bless the initiative. Thank you.